Hey friend, Brandon here. I'm really excited about this video because Sony sent out a ton of boxes to me for a showcase on a new entertainment system for my living room. And we have a bunch of different things here. We have the Bravia XR, the A90J TV. Then over here, we have a subwoofer. This is the SW5. And we have two different types of rear speakers that we're gonna check out. This is the RS3Ss, and then the upgraded or higher tier model, the RS5 that I'm really, really excited about. And here is the star of the show. This is their HT A5000 soundbar. And it's not just a typical sound Soundbar. No, it has incredible technology called 360 spatial sound mapping. And we're gonna do something kind of crazy here to have you experience it. We have a binaural microphone that allows you to hear what it's like to be in the environment. It's kind of crazy, but once we get to it, you wanna wear some earbuds or headphones to get the full experience of what 3D spatial sound mapping sounds like. All right, let's get this all set up. We're gonna start here with the Bravia XR, the A90J. So we're gonna move this over here. So this one is a 65 inch OLED TV. And one thing that I really love about this TV compared to other OLED LEDs is the fact that it's brighter than most. All right, we set it up over uh, movie magic here. We gotta do the peel. What? This is like a gasket thing. Wah! Excuse me, look at how thin that is. That is nuts. And the borders are just so dang tiny. Now, since this is a video about sound, there's a really cool feature that's built into this TV. It has Bravia Acoustic Center Sync, which means that you can put all of your center channel stuff like dialogue into the speaker that's here. The technology for that is actually really crazy because it uses the actual panel, the screen, to vibrate to create the audio, which is nuts. I don't know if that's like piezoelectric uh, like acoustics or something like that, but it's really neat to be able to use this as your center channel. So we've put the legs on here based upon the typical instructions, and you're probably noticing something really interesting about it. The TV goes all the way down to the surface here. And if you have something like a sound bar, you run into something really complicated because it's gonna block the TV. And there's actually a little feature here. If you just swap the legs, it'll lift it up, which is really nice. So let's do that. All right, we switch over to the legs and check this out. Now we can fit a sound bar underneath here, perfectly fine without obstructing your TV. That's all great because we have this sound bar right here, the HT A5000. What's cool about this is it has a 5.1.2 channel set up. Now you probably are curious about what is all that. So you have uh, essentially five different speakers around you. You have a subwoofer channel, and then you have different speakers that will actually show up on your ceiling. It'll beam it up there, and that's how you're able to get that, that additional speaker set up. All right, let's take this out. It has um, up to 8K HDR pass-through, which is perfect. Uh, HDMI 2.1, so that's part of the technology that allows that. You can do 4K 120. So it has compatibility with DTS, Dolby Atmos, and Sony's 360 Reality Audio. Oh, it's so thin. Okay. Really, that's like really snug in there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ever so graceful. Oh, baby. Oh, and it fits perfectly underneath here. It's like it was made for each other. Check out how thin that is. It has a nice metal grill here you have, and this nice matte finish here. And there's a bunch of different buttons here that you can control with it to turn it on, change your input, your Bluetooth, connect to a bunch of different other sources, and turn your volume up and down. And it has high-res audio. Okay, now we have the soundbar set up. We have some front-firing speakers here, some up-firing speakers, some beam-form speakers that actually bounce off the side of the wall. This is gonna come in really handy for that immersive sound. And there's a built-in subwoofer as well. If you have something like a PlayStation, 5, you can actually route it through all this and get the full 360 audio and it goes straight into your TV through a pass-through. It's like really convenient, really optimized. But the great thing about this is that this system is expandable. So we're gonna add in the SW5 subwoofer. An interesting thing about sub frequencies, a lot of people will think that you have to get really specific about where your sub is placed in your room and you don't have to get as picky about it because sub frequencies are actually wider. So you have your normal high frequencies, so they're kind of like a little narrow like this. Subfrequencies are wide like this. That means that you can put it in like in a corner or somewhere else in your room and you'll have a really good sound quality. With the higher uh, frequency speakers, like tweeters or things like that, you need to have that directional in order to hear it well. Oh, baby. We have a nice texture on it. We have the cloth grills on there and then a little power port there, the link button there, that makes it really easy to connect with all your other speakers, which is really great. If you look really close down underneath here, and it's actually shooting down at the ground, and that's because it doesn't have to be directional. That's what subfrequencies uh, can get away with. And this one's gonna be a lot easier to hook up because you know you just place it somewhere, 
plug it into the power, and you're good. Since this is expandable, we have the rear speakers, the RS3S, and then we'll eventually upgrade to the RS5s that have some really unique features that we'll check out. Now, what's great about this expandability is that you don't have to buy it all at once. Of course, you're gonna get a better deal when you buy it all at once, but if you just wanna start with the sound bar, you can do that. If you wanna upgrade then to the subwoofer, you can do that, and then you can add on the speakers. What's really neat about this whole entire setup is that it's, it's wireless, like in the sense that all you have to do is worry about power. Normally, you would have a whole bunch of different cables running through your whole entire living room to get to a center brain, like a, a receiver. And that can be a really obnoxious, difficult thing to worry about because you have all these cables running underneath like carpet and everything else or along your ceiling. This is really nice. So check these out. They have a bunch of different mounts on there to make it really easy. You can control it. There's a link button as well. That's really nice. And you just set it up behind you. And it's a nice metal finish grill there. Also, there's a little thread here if you have a speaker stand that you can connect it to to really make sure it's secure. I like that. And then we have the RS5s. Oh yeah, look at this. So this is a uh, quite a bit bigger than the other one. It has a nice cloth finish there. You can also mount it up on your wall and it'll sit flat against it or put it flat against a wall on your TV stand. Now what's really neat about this is it has up firing speakers as well. While you have that 360 spatial sound mapping going on, this will give you even more of an immersive experience because it's giving even more uh, audio points on your ceiling behind you. Also another thing that's really nice about this is that there are some batteries built into it. So if you don't have a power plug that's close by and you wanna charge it, you could do that and then put it back there when you're watching a movie and you don't have to worry about your cables. All right, let's turn on the TV and set it all up. So what's nice is that this does have Google TV built into it, so it makes it really easy to set up because I can just use my phone. Now, while that's setting up, I'm actually gonna turn on the sound bar and see if we can start linking it up there. This is nice because you don't have to have a Chromecast or anything that you buy in addition to it. It's just built into your TV. So here we just set up through the HD Arc, the HD A5000, and then here's where we set up the TV as the center speaker. Sound from reality. I heard it from like literally over there. <laughs> so you know how I said this is like 360 audio, like a dome that's completely around you with speakers all over the place? For all the speakers that are up above you, it works based upon this upfiring speakers up there. So it bounces off of the ceiling and goes up to where you are. So that's how it's working, it's reflections. And that's the cool thing about audio or sound is that it bounces off different surfaces and that's how they can emulate the feeling of a whole bunch of speakers all above you and around you. Okay, so we're gonna listen to what this is all like with the RS3Ss, but we wanna get to the main attraction, the RS5s, and we're gonna bust out the crazy ears, so get ready. Now we're gonna start the sound field optimization. It's gonna do a pretty crazy thing and I'll explain what's gonna happen in just a moment. Here we go. It's crazy because I could hear things up in the ceiling and everything. So you see how it's created this visualization of like a dome set up for your speakers? That's kind of acting as an audio engineer that's built into your speaker for you. Normally, if you get someone like me, you'd have to get a measuring tape. I'd have to find out where the speaker is, measure out the distance between the speaker and where you're sitting, then get something called like a click track where it just like makes a little pop or click consistently and measure out and time it so that it arrives at you at the same time because it's all about timing. It's bouncing off of different things and if it doesn't reach your point exactly at the same time, it'll sound really like hollow or thin. So that's what all those bleepy sounds were for. It's doing all that for you with a touch of a button. Crazy. Now that we have the sound optimization set up, we get to have a little demo. So this will be the demo that we'll have for the RS3Ss. We'll get quite a bit more of a taste with the RS5s. Because we have the crazy ears out now, you should put on your headphones or your earbuds to get the full experience. It's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna set up the RS5s. What's really neat is the bottom of this. So uh, you have this power plug. It has a 90 degree angle on it. And then you're able to just lock it in there and it's easy. Now, normally when you set up your speaker system, you have to go through the menu system. But the great thing about the RS5s is that you can easily hit the optimize button right here and then it'll go into that optimization setting again. So if you initially set up your whole speaker system for like a grandparent or whatever, your parents, and they happen to move things around and they maybe mess something up or they're not sure what they're doing in terms of uh, the placement of everything, you can just tell them, hit the button right here and it'll do the whole work for you and it's good to go from there, super easy. Now that we have the RS5 set up, let's initiate the sound field optimization and get the demo with the binaural ear. So make sure you have your earbuds and your headphones in again.
You can hear a lot more along the ceiling and it got a lot further back. It actually sounded like it was from behind me this time, which was really cool. All right, let's hear the actual demo. Okay, so that's a little bit of a taste of the HTA5000 and the 360 spatial sound mapping. So what did you think? As a whole, I think it's really great at creating an immersive 360 experience. You can hear things up in the ceiling, which is really crazy and cool. There's a ton of space in everything that you hear. If you'd like to check it out, make sure to check out the links down below in the description. And thanks so much to Sony for sponsoring this showcase. Thank you for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.